Back nine of Maple Hill. Front nine lived up to the expectation. Will the back nine live up to the hype? Let's see. <laughs> Spin it. <laughs> Hey DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Bunky here, and we're back in Maple Hill, back nine. Uh, if you want to know what that disc throwing at my head was, at the end of my videos, I throw the disc at the camera. And when I'm not by myself, that means I have to throw it at my camera person, which today is my wife. And I did not warn her I was going to do it. So if you were watching the last video, and the camera seemed a little shaky after the throw, <laughs> that's why. Next time I'll warn you. Sorry, honey. <laughs> okay. So, hole number 10, there's a lot of frogs in this water. See this pond over here? There's a lot of frogs here and on hole, what, six? Anyway, uh, this is the cliff hill. <laughs> uh, the one that makes you question your distance because it's so far uphill. So, I'm just going to grab a distance driver and try to throw it as far up the hill as I possibly can. All right. I'm gonna throw the bayonet here. Just try to throw it pretty much as hard as I can. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good up there. Let's go. But that is a really long way up with a very heavy backpack. And look, yes, this is not very far for the pros. But for me, this is a pump. I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy with myself right now. Look, the iconic hole, the Maple Hill symbol on it. All right, let's see if we can get up there. I'm gonna forehand something. Oh, hopefully that's par, let's go. All righty. Well, a little 20. Twenty footer for par. Really tired. And there we go. On to hole eleven. All right, hole number eleven, eight hundred foot par four way back into the woods, over the Christmas tree farm here. Just gotta throw it far. All right, can you give me my bag? Yeah. All right, Mad Cat here, 295 feet. Get down. Ooh, that might be long. Okay. There are so many bugs and flies and mosquitoes. So I was throwing at the black basket. This would have been a nice circle's edge putt for birdie, but now I have a forehand throw to get up and down for par. <laughs> so let's try to get it. All right, we're gonna mark everything with my nice Maple Hill Mini. These, fly, these flies, I'm telling you what, they're really annoying. <laughs> That's for another par, let's go. All right, 720 foot par three. I don't get that, but <laughs> this is definitely a par four for me. Uh, and so uh, I'm expecting a five here. <laughs> um, it's straight. Straight up, but you have to curve around these trees in front of you, I think. So I'm just going to rip it as hard as I can and hope to get there in two. <sighs> Ouch. Okay, maybe we won't get there in two. <laughs> We're gonna do a forehand roller, I think. We'll do it with my growler. Never tried this before, but it's gotta be better than doing a standstill 
forehand, right? <clears throat> oh, it cut straight right, didn't it? All right, let's go find it. All right, so I'm gonna try a putter approach right over the camera. So, all right, here we go. All right, so we have about a 40, 45 footer for uh, bogey here. So I hit online up there and then it rolled down the hill to here. So I was online when I threw it, straight online. So <sighs> go. Mm. I'm gonna putt again. I I'll tap that in for the double. <sighs> okay. All right. All right. That's for the double. You know, if I would have not, if I would have pulled it, like, if I would have put it, like, 15 feet left off the tee, I could have parred this. Because that shot was tracking to where I could have been at the top of that hill. So, not too bad. Hole 13, 472 foot par 3. Straight down into the woods. I'm going to throw my BB6 here. I probably should throw a putter. Because this might turn over a little too much. But I'll just go with this. Put it on some hyzer. So... It's a cross, cross, it's swirl, the wind is swirling right now. Of course. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wow. Oh, that was going so far. I'm in jail. I have no way through here. Um, I'd like to try to just lace something through there and try to miss that little tree. Well, let's try it. Like that. Oh, I did it. Uh -huh. I did it. <laughs> wow. All right, let's go. All right, for par. There it is. Do it again. Oh, maybe I should have stuck with oh. the first one. <laughs> All right, this is the hole I've been dreading. Hole number 14, 440 feet, wall, death by water. I'm going to throw my growler. If I lose it, I lose it. <laughs> but I need to try this. Put it on hyzer, let it flip up and ride over. <sighs> Oh, it's going to turn over too far. All right. I think I'm safe. I'm on land. So let's go get it. <clears throat> Did you get that? The whole thing? For me throwing it to landing next to the T-Vax. <laughs> okay, in all fairness, that was my third shot. But I told myself, I have to do this. And you told me not to tell me. And I don't think that's the best throw I've ever thrown. And I feel, I feel so good right now. <laughs> Let's go see where that landed. Let's go. I'll throw for my first shot, which is over to the left here. It should be safe. But we'll go see where that one landed. I am. Get your max distance disc finder grabber thingy today. All right, I'll meet you up top. If it goes, it goes. I'm running it. I'm not laying this up. All right. So, I did end up going out of bounds on my T-shirt. So... That was for three. This is for bogey. But my second tee shot where I wasn't expecting to be filmed, but my wife was like, I'm going to film you anyway. Landed right here. So I'm putting this for birdie just because I can.
Wow. Nope. The max distance disc, disc retriever. Get yours today. That's terrible. <laughs> Cut. 322 foot par three, straight ahead, really narrow. Throw my lariat up, hopefully flip it up and ride straight. Oh. All right. All right, I don't have much here. I'm gonna try a little uh, backhand through here. Bugs are killing me. Oh, that should be up there for the par. All right, note to self, if you ever come back to Maple Hill, Mike's still on. Bring bug spray. All right, here we go for the par. Oh well, we'll take the bogey, but I want to sink one. Okay, two makes it true, right? That's for the bogey. Yeah. All right, hole 16. We have a little bit of an equipment in our way. Uh, looks like the pin is in the A position, so it's a 475 foot par three. So, I'll just get it up there as far as I can, and we'll call it a day. <sighs> oh, of course it kicks and goes right. <laughs> Let's go. I'm conceding at least bogey here. Maybe I need to... Oh, I'm coming up this way. All right. Ready? <sighs> All right, that'll work. <sighs> All right, there's a sign back there that said, caution, knee deep mud. <laughs> so we're just going to pitch something up. And it landed right here, by the way. And that'll be for bogey. Got it? For bogey, on to 17. 636 foot par 4. Looks like it goes out and then to the right. So. Um, oh, never mind. I'm going to throw my bayonet here. Flip up to flat, maybe turn over a little bit, and then finish right. So, <sighs> yeah, okay, we'll take that. All right, so I got to go up in. Through that opening up here, I'm going to throw my Mockingbird, hopefully fade it a little bit and let it finish to the right there. <sighs> oh, I need to throw that higher. All right, that'll get me up and down for the par. All right, we're just going to slide something down there safe for the par. <laughs> and tap that one in. Into the par, on to the last hole, let's go. All right, final hole here, hole 18, 640 foot par four. You know this one, it's up to the peninsula green. Um, just need to get something out and straight, turn it over a little bit, fade to the left, hopefully have a good shot into the pin for my second shot if I can clear these steps right here. It's, it's more daunting than it looks on TV, quite honestly. Because if I throw it straight, I'm going right into those. So, we'll see if we can do this. Uh. 
Well, it's definitely to the left. <laughs> Ranger here. I'm going to send it up here and then try to hook it up at the end. <sighs> All right. That'll be a straight shot into the pin. <sighs> there it is. All right, let's go get it. All right. There you have it. Full 18 at Maple Hill. Loved it. Absolutely fantastic. I want to come back again and do it a second time. I think now that the nostalgia is off or the glamour of it all, grandness of the theater here, uh, I think I'll do much better next time. So I think I didn't do well. I, I it was one, two, three, the par. I think it was plus nine. Either plus nine or plus ten. So first time here from Golds, single digit over par. I'll take it. Well, drop in the comments below uh, if you've been here. What was your first score at Maple Hill Golds? And uh, as always, thanks for joining, tuning in, supporting me. Until next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.